Happy New Year, ladies! I've chosen to feature for you a minimalistic, natural glam look that's free of toxic chemicals for my first video of 2017. So I recently decided it's finally time to try a new primer. And I've chosen Juice Beauties. I really love the silky smooth texture. It's a completely organic formula and this year, I really want to start featuring more purely organic makeup brands on my channel. This is Shea Moisture's Perfecting Face Cream Trio, which I've been featuring in just about all of my videos thus far. I suffer from chronic cystic acne, and I have to be on a special no sugar, no cheese, no excess oil diet in order to control my breakouts. And for the past month, I have been doing really, really well. I filmed this video about a week ago or probably a little bit more than a week ago and right now I can tell you my skin is actually looking better than this um, right now you know I'm I'm almost completely healed from the raised bumps and in the weeks ahead I'll be working on fading my dark spots I've chosen to use the medium color shade in the concealer trio because it's the closest to my skin color and this Juice Beauty foundation color is lighter than my own complexion. So I figured using a concealer that was more my skin tone would help even things out a bit. So as you can see, this foundation color is definitely too light for me. But I'm going to work with it and try to figure out ways to bronze it up a bit. Whoa, this is looking a little too cakey. So instead of continuing with the stippling brush, I'm going to try using a Real Techniques sponge. Yeah, I think this works better. I think this is going to be a better, a better idea than the stippling brush. I don't know, maybe I put a little too much foundation on, but you know, I'm I'm I've got lots of spots. My my skin is not perfect, of course, as you can see. Um it's never going to be perfect cuz I've just been suffering from acne for so many years. In the weeks ahead, I believe, well I know that I can get my skin to look even better than this. So I'm not worrying too much cuz I think that Eventually, things are going to start to look really, really good with my skin. And so before I move on to my eyes, I'm going to work on trying to balance out uh, the Juice Beauty um, color that's a little too light. What I do like about choosing a foundation color that is slightly lighter than my skin tone is that it does leave my skin looking more bright and illuminated, actually. And I'm bronzing with a little bit of Antonyms blush because that's what I have. It's also organic though, by the way, so it is so good for my skin. I am really feeling the organic makeup and I will definitely be putting a lot of it on my channel. You know, I don't get this uh, contouring the nose thing really. I mean, I've got a huge nose. <laughs> I've learned to love it. Um, I really don't care about contouring it, to be honest with you, but I think the sides of it, contouring the sides, putting a little bit of a darker shade at the sides actually um, does look kind of nice, but I never actually get, you know, like the whole trying to shape it kind of thing. But anyways, I don't like putting concealer too close to my bottom lash line. It just doesn't look natural on me. Unfortunately, I applied concealer a little too close to my lash line under my right eye and didn't realize it needed smoothing out. So I've decided to use just one eyeshadow for this look. This is RMS Beauty's Cream Eye Polish in the color Lucky. This is certified organic eye makeup made with coconut oil, jojoba oil, and rosemary. 
I find that using my finger to apply eyeshadow often helps to intensify the color, but to neatly apply color to the inner corners of my eye, I'm using the Sigma E56 shader brush. I think that using one eyeshadow color is perfectly fine and can just as well offer you a beautiful finished glamorous look. You know, it's really not necessary to apply three and four different eyeshadows. One color can highlight your eyes and make them look so pretty. I also like using Sigma's E55 shading brush on my eyelid. It gives the color a smooth finish. I forgot to use an eye primer, but that can help with creasing issues. Cream eyeshadows tend to crease soon after application and an eye primer or a powder base coat might help with creasing. If you want a more intense color application, then maybe try skipping the powder base coat and just apply a primer. I've chosen to use 100% Pure's Fruit Pigmented Organic Mascara. This is a really natural mascara and it takes quite a bit of coats to seriously lengthen your lashes. But if you use like this blinking method that I'm doing right now, that can actually help to get the mascara on um, just a little bit heavier and then hold your eye open to actually separate the lashes and lengthen them so you're gonna blink 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 a few times and then you're going to hold your eye open and really just allow your lashes to lengthen and also to separate as you're still putting uh, coats on and you'll probably have to put on a few coats with this mascara because it's so natural um, but this is an excellent mascara. The end results are just phenomenal. And now I'm working on my brows. This is Honest Beauty's brow pencil and I really like it. I've been using it for a while now and it works great for me. And for my lips, I'm going for a favorite nude shade of mine. This is Gabriel Cosmetics Lipstick in the color Seashell. Very pretty. Finishing up with adding more eye polish to my inner corners. And applying this lovely Mineral Fusion blush to my cheeks. And I'm spraying on Honest Beauty's Replenishing Mist to complete the look. And that's it. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video.